BPM kicks all the ass in the world. It's addicting, fast paced, and the music is banger. Thank you for watching this review. This is the Horror Dinosaur, signing out. <sighs> all right, I guess I can separate myself a little longer from BPM. For those who don't know, BPM, bullets per minute, is a fast paced indie roguelike rhythm game. You traverse and clear 8 dungeons that are randomly generated. Every time you die, you are set to the beginning of the run and awaken anew, losing all previous progress and must start from scratch, which is always a kick in the balls. Roguelike games aren't my forte, because I prefer my gaming experience of a well thought out structure, finding shortcuts or secrets that feel genuinely rewarding because everything was set from the start. Preferably over, I may get something half decent by random chance for putting in the effort of finding it. Honestly, I never found roguelike games to be this phenomenal idea that's worth drooling over. It's just reshoveling pre-existing rooms to different locations. Never understood why people were banging on about it. BPM doesn't do anything different with the roguelike genre. It functions exactly as I described it. Every new run creates a new dungeon with rearranged rooms, sometimes with special rooms, weapons and items are swapped out for different ones, and that's it. Again, I don't care for these type of games, so why am I sucking on BPN's massive long barrel at the beginning? Because the gameplay in music is what ensnared me. I had no plans to let BPM dominate my weekends and weekdays. If this game was a drug, my life would be in shambles. So. What's so great about the gameplay? It's a fast paced shooter with hordes of enemies you need to clear in order to progress. However, there's a twist. You can only shoot, reload, jump, and dodge to the rhythm of the music. Granted, this will take time to get used to. BPM is asking you to unwire your instincts of letting loose a barrage of lag. Once you rewire your brain and get in the groove, the gameplay is challenging, yet Satisfying, engaging, and addictive. Firing to the beat never gets old, and there's a decent variety of weapons to choose from. Some weapons feel great and sound perfect for the music. While others feel and sound like squirt guns. While performing flawlessly is satisfying and fun, I do have to ask. What's the point of performing flawlessly, besides getting a high score that no one cares about since the arcade days? I would understand getting a high score unlocks new characters and content, but it doesn't. You unlock characters and modes by meeting certain criteria. So what's the point of being flawless? Still fun, just wish there was more motivation to perform better. Besides finding or buying weapons, you can also buy or find power-ups. These power-ups can increase your current stats or give you a special ability. Stats affect your speed, range, damage, precision, luck, or ability, which are important for surviving in the later dungeons. You can gain special abilities that are passive or active. A great chunk of these abilities are fun to experiment with and can drastically change the tide of battles. Unfortunately, these abilities can break the game, especially when you have the right weapon. Overpowered weapon plus overpowered ability equals you mopping the floor with every boss and enemy. The only boss that imposes a legitimate threat is the first one, because you are still in the early stages and the boss has a pattern. After that, the rest can go as follows. So the game can feel heavily unbalanced at times. Speaking of unbalanced, you would think of all the crazy enemies, the one I would fear the most are the big lava spiders or the mini bosses. Nope. The only enemy type I fear are the small flying bastards. They are small, fast, constantly moving around, so they are hard to hit, and they can take a quarter of your health. These small buggers cause me more suffering and deaths than any boss in this game could ever do. However, auto aim will wonderfully take care of them for you. Before I wrap things up, I do want to quickly mention this weird glitch, where if you try to continue from a completed run, the game will crash, without fail every time. I did experience another crash when I was doing the boss rush. Sadly, I didn't record it, but I figured I should bring it up anyways. Despite the unbalancing, the lack of a story and characters, and it being a roguelike, 
None of those aspects detract my fondness for BPM. Why? Because the core combat loop kicks ass. BPM is a testament on why having a strong combat loop is very important. It can make you overlook the game's faults or lack of context. If you're looking for a fun, addictive shooter that has you kick ass to the rhythm of banging music while being challenging, then look no further. BPM might be right up your alley. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. This is the Horror Connoisseur, signing out.